I'm so fucking hungry, it's not even funny. No, well, today's your lucky day, because this taco truck's got the best tacos in the whole city. That's so? Yeah, my friend Selena says they're the real deal. Totally authentic, exactly like her Mexican abuela used to make. Okay. Mm What's up, kids? Welcome to Kai's Authentic Mexican Tacos. Hey, Kai, good to see you again, man. You look fucking great, bro. Thanks, bro. What can I get you? Uh, I'm gonna have two pollo tacos, uh, a fish taco with avocado, and you guys have Mexican Coke, right? Of course. Yeah, just one of those, and changes for you. Thanks, bro. And you? Uh, just a sec. I thought you said this is authentic Mexican? It is. Why are you mumbling? How is it authentic? What do you mean? Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry to ask this, but I have to. Are you Mexican? No. Were you raised by Mexicans? Nope. Have you ever, like, been to Mexico? No. Yo, you want to uh, chill out? OK. So how are these authentic Mexican tacos? Ah, I am so happy you asked. All of our ingredients are sourced from Mexico. The vegetables come from a very small town in Guerrero. The meat is imported from Durango. And all of our tortillas are made with non-GMO corn from Oaxaca. The best part is all of our recipes are handed down from the Aztecs through the maternal line of the Mendoza family. OK, that's great. But like, you're not Mexican. No. Should I be? Yes, because these aren't authentic Mexican tacos unless they're authentically made by an authentic Mexican. Hey, can you guys order already? Yeah, I got to get back to work. Give me one second. I'm so sorry. Thank you. You're just a white dude profiting from the exploitation of thousands of years of Mexican culture, a culture which your people historically oppressed. This is culinary appropriation. Culinary appropriation? Yes, you have culinary privilege. Culinary privilege? Culinary privilege. Now you're just making shit up. No, no, no. It's a thing, OK? Operating a taco truck is one of the few jobs undocumented Mexican immigrants can, like, do in this country without the risk of being deported. And here you are displacing them. You, a straight white man, a member of the dominant culture, can easily cook and eat and sell the food of the cultures you continue to oppress. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. We do not know that he's straight. You've got culinary privilege. Not my taco. Not my taco. Come on, guys, say it. Not my taco. Not my taco. OK, OK, OK. Let's back up a sec here before we lose our fucking minds. All right, does he really have culinary privilege? How doesn't he? Kai, where are you from? Winnipeg. Winnipeg? Yeah. All right, so he's a white dude from Winnipeg. Culinarily, that's the lowest of the low. He probably grew up eating microwave dinners and canned spaghetti, shit like that. Pure garbage. I, I did. Culinary privilege, real culinary privilege, means growing up in a French village and eating the best cheeses and drinking the finest wines and not having any idea that compared to you, the rest of the world eats like fucking rats. If anyone shouldn't be able to appropriate any other cuisine, it's the French. Yeah. Fuck the French. Fuck the French. Fuck the French. Uh, fuck, the no, French. Fuck, no. the French. No. fuck the French. I didn't. Fuck the French. Fuck the French. Fuck the French. Fuck the French. Okay, uh, we actually don't serve French food here, but we can get you some authentic Mexican tacos. You don't get it, do you? Don't you see how this could be offensive to a real, authentic Mexican? Hey, can I just say that I'm Mexican and this doesn't bother me at all? because these tacos are great. OK, sir, uh, I appreciate your feelings on the matter, but I don't need you to be a mouthpiece for an entire cuisine, OK? As long as a white man's doing the cooking, I won't be eating here. Oh, I'm not the cook. Uh, Guillermo's the cook. Guillermo? <laughs> OK, wow. Guillermo, let me guess. You've got some poor Mexican dude back there slaving away for five bucks an hour so that you can call these tacos authentic. Excuse me, senor. You don't need to work here. You can open your own taco truck. Uh, Guillermo doesn't speak English. Yeah, go get the pure air. My gumana, who put him to go? I don't know, she buy. I, um, uh... I'm just surprised. You actually don't know what to be offended by right now, do you? No, I. This is, this is like watching a computer glitch. Could you please hurry? I got some place to be. I got it. I got it. You hired a guy from one oppressed culture to do your dirty work and culinarily appropriate food from another oppressed culture. Does Guillermo even know he's merely a prop in this sick little game of culinary oppression? Number 25! Yo! 
Eh, hey, muchísimas gracias, Memo. Feliz, ¿cómo está la familia? Muy bien, Sara está trabajando ahorita y Laura va a graduarse la próxima semana. Felicidades. <laughs> Número 26. That's me. Ah, thank you, thank you. Oh, gracias, Kai. Gamble, you outdone yourself. Delicious, truly. Jesus Christ, was that your stomach? I told you I haven't eaten all day. Fuck, this is incredible, Zoe. Who cares if it's incredible? I can't believe you guys are buying this bullshit. How am I the only one who's offended? I'm offended. Thank you. Frank? I got no problem with Mexican food. I just think they should eat their food and we should eat our food. What are you talking about? Mexican cuisine was developed over thousands of years to suit the particular genetic makeup, environment, and lifestyle of the Mexican people. I mean, it's good for their bodies. I don't know about that, Frank. <laughs> All I'm saying is the Mexicans just take the tacos, French to frog legs, and the blacks to chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. How you doing? Okay, I do not share this man's views. I just want to make that very clear. Why do you think so many people have gastrointestinal problems these days? IBS? That's people eating other people's food. That's an interesting theory. Interesting theory. You want an interesting theory? Here's an interesting theory. As an Italian, I'm on a tomato-based Mediterranean diet that's authentic to the soil, water, and climate my people spawn from. Actually, the tomato is indigenous to Central and South America, particularly Mexico. Well, what are you talking about? She's right. Prior to the discovery of the New World, there were no tomatoes in Europe. I read that somewhere for sure. No. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that I'm a Mexican? Like this fucking guy? I'm actually Canadian. I gotta reevaluate my entire belief system. Okay, lady, could you please just order something? Okay, that's it! I've tried to be rational, but I can't, okay? I can't. I'm posting my outrage online. No, 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 please don't. I can't afford that bad publicity. I'd be out of business in a week. Not do that. Please don't do that. Do not fucking do that. Sorry, 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 Zoe, look at it this way, okay? You got this really nice Canadian dude, okay? And his interracial business partner who are having trouble cooking their own recipes. They've been trying for so long. And just when they're about to give up and go back to being dishwashers at some shitty Winnipeg Denny's, they realize, hey, why don't we adopt the cuisine of another underrepresented culture and learn those recipes and cook and love them like they're our own? Plus, Selena Gomez tweeted, and I quote, Kai's authentic tacos are the real deal. Totally authentic, just like my abuela used to make. So when you said your friend Selena, you meant Selena Gomez. And when you said told you, you meant tweeted. Actually, Disclaimer, the tweet you're referencing was not from the verified Selena Gomez account. So the tweet about authentic tacos was in and of itself inauthentic. Correct. God damn it. Just eat the taco, Zoe. Eat the goddamn taco. Excuse me. Just traced a viral Facebook post regarding an authentic Mexican taco truck, apparently operated by an undocumented immigrant. Are you Kai from Winnipeg? Are you authorized to operate a business in the United States? Fucking kill me. Whoa, give I me that thing. fucking post it. Give me that thing. I didn't fucking post Knock anything. Knock it off. Just learned about tomatoes from the Canadian running a Mexican taco truck in Little Italy. Hashtag woke as fuck. Posted by Frank the Barber. Frank. Sorry I had to cancel yesterday. Oh, it's OK. It was just this, I had this whole thing with like, trying to get a haircut and David Beckham and my barber wouldn't help me, so. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so strange, because I had to cancel last week, too, for a hair-related situation. <laughs> That's crazy. This yeah. Hair, right? Whoa. Sorry, I touched your shoulder. Oh, it's OK. okay. Uh, anyways, this place is supposed to be great. It's like great tacos, totally authentic Mexican food, so. Wow. Let's do it. Cool. <laughs> what the heck? Go back to Canada. Is that the name of it? No. It's Kai's. Oh.